Hey there guys, so they have hotfixed the Beowulf fight, now we can get a proper rank 1 clear in. So we're going to be going back, and this time I'm going to do the no Nora clear. For those of you that asked me to show a no Nora clear, this is going to be it. Now the boss is pretty tricky if you're not using Nora. So this is the team we're going to be using. The rotation is a little bit tight, the damage check is pretty hard without Nora, but we're going to knock it out and we're going to get it done. Turn chart will be in the comments, I'll show you the gear at the end, etc. And if you do have Nora, you can check out my day one video that will still work just fine after the hotfix. Okay. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to dispel the boss with Lena. We're going to use Bushido Freedom and just dispel those preemptive buffs the boss puts up. Do that as the first action. Then Flaring Rain is going to do True Undermine, um, Prominence Fall, and his Killer Buff. Ibarra is going to do Wish of Vengeance, Anoon, and the Demon Killer Buff. Abigail is going to do cover in this order. Cover, contingency, and then methodical mitigation for the 90% turn 1 mitigation. Dwayne will fire imbue, blood shield, and then just hit the boss. And Melissa will do chronic flow, parasol for mitigation, and shelga. So turn 1 is a little bit painful. We're not using um, as much mitigation on turn 1, but, you know, Abigail. So here we go. Also, you can use other tanks. I was trying some other stuff out. You know, Ash can tank this. Um, I even tanked it with Esther using mitigations from Melissa. It does work, um, and I'll probably be doing them in other videos. But for this video, we kind of want Abigail. Okay, so this turn, we're going to deal some damage. We don't have the accuracy down yet. So what we're going to do, we're going to use Lena to get rid of the field. We're going to use Melissa <coughs> to Minutes of Might. We're going to Beast Killer on Dwayne. And we're going to do um, shared immunity to cure those breaks. We're going to have Abigail go ahead and do both of the anti-mitigations. And then we're going to do drone type L. It's got to be the L version. Uh, Ibarra is going to mirage the party with Flash. And then we're going to do Jimit Jimitsu Prayer because that fills the morale gauge. Now we're going to use Rain to LB in the shift form. And we're going to use Atonement with Dwayne. We need to push the boss a little bit, because we got to push the threshold later. So we're going to do a little bit of damage right now, just to start it up. That should be fine. Okay, yeah, we, we want to do about, like, you know, 7 or 8% on turn 2. That way it's a little bit easier to push that threshold on turn 5. Okay, so turn 3, what we're going to do, we're going to start off with... We'll just use Lena to do her Magnus to refill her LB for later. Melissa can do Abyssal Blessing for the Amplify. We're going to Beast Killer on Rain, and then we're going to just do another killer on anyone for the morale gain. We're going to SLB our Abigail. We're going to SLB our Dwayne. Ibarra is going to do the base form LB. And Flaring Rain can just do um, Undermine, Prominence, and we'll refresh that killer buff. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we, we, we now have accuracy down, and this party has no accuracy buffs whatsoever. So we're just going to be bursting only on turns that don't have the accuracy penalty. Okay, so the boss put up some buffs on himself. So what we're going to do, we're going to just normal attack Dwayne. We could try to get him to, like, counterattack it, but whatever. We're just going to normal attack and get rid of it this turn. There we go. The boss's buffs are gone. We're also going to use Lena to reapply that field with her LB. We're going to use um, Ibarra to go to the ship form, and we'll start refilling her LB and focus. We're going to double Demonic and then Retribution as the last action. Now, Rain is going to use his big burst on this turn, so we're going to do Grace, Elemental Burst Fire, and his cooldown. Yeah, he's going to be carrying phase one. Melissa is now going to do, um, let's see, uh, what are we doing this turn? We're doing Shelga. We're refreshing Beast Killer on Dwayne. And we are just doing a killer buff. Doesn't really matter which one. Okay, and then we're doing cover and then both the breaks on Abigail. I've got my turn chart that I'm following nice, nicely along. Okay, so this turn is a little bit painful. Not too bad. We have Abigail's SLB at this point, so we're fine. 
Um, also, we now have the maximum morale gauge. So now turn five. This turn, we're going to go ahead and push that threshold. Now, if we come up a little bit short on the threshold, it's actually okay because the boss is not going to heal yet. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and use the attack and magic buff. We're going to use the shifted LB of Rain. We're going to use Abigail to triple absolute mirror of equity to chain with Rain. We're going to cap it with Ibarra. Dwayne would do his powered up LB. And Lena will just jump in here with Extreme Nova to help us get that chain count score. So we're going to do all this before we do Melissa. So optimally, we'd like to push the threshold at 50%. If we're a little bit short, it's okay. We got it. There we go. So we're good. Okay, now after all that, the boss is going to do some attacks this turn that kind of hurt. Also, the boss will start healing. So in order to make the final burst easier, and you'll see what I'm talking about when we get there, we're going to use Melissa to all-consuming to stop or, or cut the healing in half, and then double bar Darkja to um, refill LB gauge. Okay, so because we all-consuming, that's going to make us absorb the physical attacks this turn. Don't worry about the damage cap. The damage cap is going to come later in the fight. This is just getting to phase two. We're going to, we're going to do the 2.5 and above in phase two. We're saving all our big burst for them. Okay, so we have accuracy down again, so we're basically just going to be setting up yet again. So we're going to have Ibarra go to the base form and use her base form LB. Lena, honestly, can not much important. We'll just like eccentric just for something to do. Let's have... Um, now, Rain is not imbued right now, so we're going to use Rain to bomb arms to imbue himself. We're going really old school right now. Because we don't want to AoE imbue, because we don't want to add fire to Ibarra. We're going to use her 150 dark amp later, and we don't want to dilute that with a fire amplify, or a fire imbue. So we're going to go ahead and use the SLB of Abigail. Dwayne will SLB again, and then Melissa on this turn. Um, not a whole lot important here. We can just, you know, whatever kind of. So we can just bar Darkja twice and, um, you know, kind of whatever you want. We can Parasol Shield. You know, if your LB wasn't filled up, you could bar Darkja, but, you know, Abigail counters a lot of LB fills, so we were kind of good to go. Okay, turn six is just a physical turn. Um, single target physical, we evade it. The boss has no accuracy, actually. So uh, he's, pretty, he's pretty easy to, to handle. Okay, so this turn, what we're going to do... We're going to use Lena to LB to get rid of that field again. We're going to use Abigail to put up cover again. Now we're going to do enemy data analysis to get rid of the boss's attack and magic buff. And then contingency plan again. Ibarra is now going to do her self-only dark imbue. We're going to demon killer the party again. And then we're going to f finalize it with her 150 amplify. Rain on this turn can do undermine. We're going to do his cooldown, and then, um, whatever, Bolting Strike, doesn't matter. Dwayne is now going to do his, his big, his big, um, Clash of Wills buff with supplementation. We're going to Fire Imbue, and 150 Fire Amplify. And then, uh, Melissa can do Beast Killer on Rain. We're going to do... Shared Immunity, and Shelga, just to, re just to refresh some buffs. <laughs> okay, so turn 8, the accuracy debuff is gone for one turn. So we're going to use turn 8 to basically kill the boss, or get the boss as close to dead as possible. But with, with, with all of our um, amplifies and setup, and now that we have Melissa's final buffs, we should be able to do it. So before we burst, give it just a second, a lot of counterattacks this turn. Until they're nerfed. We'll, we'll talk more about the counter nerf stuff coming in a different video. Okay, so now Melissa is going to triple. We're going to do seconds of support on Dwayne. We are going to do minutes of might, and we're going to do beast killer on Dwayne. Okay, now we're going to have rain, triple pulverizing force. Ibarra will shift and cap this LB again, or cap this chain again. Abigail will triple bolt and strike this time. Lena will once again just jump in the chain with Extreme Nova, and Dwayne will LB. And this is going to be, um, let me do this, oh yeah, real quick, hold on. 
and then we're gonna do this. And we will chain this up, chain this up, and that should be the end of Beowulf. Boom, came in at there at the end with um with Dwayne. So there it is. Got it. 3.3 billion damage. So there it is. Now that was certainly not an easy to do clear because we were using dual wielders and not using Nora. So those of you that asked me to show a no Nora clear, there you go. Proper rank one. The boss has been fixed. No longer bugged. Dwayne is, you know, hard carrying this fight and he's a true dual wield unit. And if you don't have Nora's buff, he just kind of doesn't work in the fight. Same thing for Flaring Rain. As you can see, Flaring Rain, very, very strong in this fight. Um, they're very good. So Ibarra, uh, you know, good damage, but this is not really a fight for her specifically. Um, and there we go. So all mission, not all mission, um, rank one, perfect, perfect done. Another green ticket. Did they raise the rate to green tickets? Anyway. There it is, now we are legit rank one with the modifier fixed. So there it is, locked in my score. Um, it didn't update yet, but there we go. Let me show you the team. Um, now, like I said, doing a clear without Nora is pretty challenging, like really challenging. So this is certainly not a cheap clear. We are using, you know, some EX3 powerhouses like Dwayne and Rain, um, <coughs> but you know, we got it done. Now, as far as Melissa, Melissa does not need to be EX3. So if your Lena, for example, is EX3 or your Ibarra or, you know, if you can still fit the EX levels, um, the only one that's kind of a big deal to be EX3 is Dwayne be for this clear. Because this clear, we kind of need him to SLB on turn 3 and 6. And then EX3 is the way to get that done. So as far as Espers go, we've got Rain on the, um, the Ifrit Esper for the Overcap Killer. And then, you know, actually, I could have put um, Ibarra on Ramu and overcapped that killer as well, but I don't really want to spend the ore. Anyway, um, so Melissa, the gear, honestly, whatever. The party basically never takes damage, so just morale gain. So her own card, Celestite Rod, Treasured Ring, Mana Reduction, other than that, who cares? Um, Lena, just support stuff, you know, a morale rod, a morale card, um... Extreme Nova Frames. Bushido Freedom is very important so that we can dispel the boss on turn one or a way to dispel. It doesn't have to be Bushido Freedom. Make sure she's not dual wielding because <coughs> dual wielding with the Extreme Nova card will break it. Um, other than that, kind of whatever, some LB fill. You know, she's basically here for the field and no other reason. Uh, Dark Knight Dwayne is um, 16k attack power. Um, actually, bulk is irrelevant, so ignore that. Um, there it is. He is maxed on everything, and he um, did really high damage. Yep, there it is. Max Beast, Max Demon, Max Machine. Um, Flaring Rain is using Bomb Arms in the base form. This is so that we can imbue himself with fire, because like I said, we don't want to use an AoE imbue on turn 6. So that'll mess up Ibarra. So we're using a single target, self-only fire imbue for himself, because uh, his pulverizing force is not naturally fire. And then shift form, same thing, except we're just putting a chain speed in that material slot because his shifted LB is naturally fire element. Ibarra is just LB damage versus um, the boss's combination. There it is. 300, 300, 300. So good to go. And yep, shift form, identical. There it is. And there we go. And then Abigail, just bulk. Um, Passive provoke evasion. Honestly speaking, someone else gave her some extra counter stuff. Um, honestly speaking, someone else could be the Provoker with Evasion, and it would make her take a little bit less damage, but if you're using Abigail, it's kind of whatever. Um, but if you're using a different tank, you want someone else to Provoke with Evasion while the tank covers. That way, you always get cover mitigation for the single target stuff. Anyway, there's the rank 1 clear without Nora. So, future videos, I'll try to mix the units up, but I'm probably going to bring Nora in because, you know, we need, we need, we need some kind of power to get rank 1. Anyway... See you in a bit.